Line spacing is fairly simple. By default, anywhere in Microsoft, when you start typing a document and you hit enter at the end of the line, it just keeps that line tucked right underneath the other line. Not much spacing between it, but if you want more spacing, like one and a half spacing or double spacing within the paragraph, just go ahead and click anywhere within your paragraphs that you want double or triple spacing, and then come up in the paragraph group on the Home tab, of course, and click on the line spacing button, and you get a list here. Let's do triple. Oh, that really spreads it out, doesn't it? And how you'll obviously identify the spacing is that, well, there's spacing between it, but what's interesting is when you click and drag and you select one of your normal lines, you notice that the blue, when you select it, is, is tight to that line. But when you click on one of these lines and you drag it, notice that the blue expands quite a bit. Now, does that mean that there's a hard return or several returns after this line? Well, the easiest way to find out is clicking up in the paragraph group on your show hide code buttons, and you'll notice with each line or new line here, when there's a hard return, there's nothing over here. It just automatically expands it. So this is normal to that in triple spacing as it would be normal when you get to the end of the line in single spacing. Now if you want to change it by not using the drop down arrow here, you can use shortcut keys. Click somewhere in your paragraph and hold down the control key and hit the number one and it automatically goes to single spacing. Control two is double spacing. Control five is one and a half spacing and then we'll just go to control one back, single spacing.